Good morning, brothers. Uh, New Year's Eve. So a happy New Year to everybody. And it's also Sunday, the presentation of our Lord, which is much more important. Let's open our day in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm, keep us from evil. Behold, the Lord has come to his holy temple. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with sounds. For Yahweh is a great God, a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. O oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts, as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. From there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, and even though they did everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore in my anger, They will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Behold, the Lord has come to his holy temple. O come, let us adore him. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence set our hearts on fire with love for you. Amen. O Zion, open wide your gates, let symbols disappear, a priest and victim both in one, the truth himself is here. Aware of hidden deity, the lowly virgin brings the newborn babe with two young doves, her humble offerings. The aged Simeon sees at last his Lord so long desired, and Anna welcomes Israel's hope with holy rapture fired. But silent knelt the mother blessed of yet silent word and pondering all things in her heart with speechless praise adored. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Spirit blessed to you, while endless ages run. Those who call on Yahweh's name shall be saved. Alleluia. In times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all plans succeed. May he shout with joy when we hear of your victory. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Now I know that the Lord rescues me, his anointed king. He will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him from his great power. Some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. Those nations will fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Give victory to our king, O Lord, Answer our cry for help. Those who call on Yahweh's name shall be saved.
Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, you stars of the sky. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, scorching wind and bitter cold. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, nights and days. Bless the Lord, light and darkness. Bless the Lord, lightning and clouds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the earth. Bless the Lord, mountains and hills. Bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, springs of water. Bless the Lord, seas and rivers. Bless the Lord, all water creatures. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, birds of the air. Bless the Lord, beasts of the wild. Bless the Lord, flocks and herds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, men and women everywhere. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Bless the Lord, priests and servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Lord, Hannah, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Those who call on Yahweh's name shall be saved. Hallelujah. Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I am devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you wherever I am in trouble, and you will answer me. No pagan God is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made, and you come and bow down before you, Lord. They will praise your holy name. For you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. With all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord, my God. I will give glory to your name forever. For your love for me is very great. And you have rescued me from the depths of death. O oh God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them. But you, O oh Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look, look down and have mercy on me. Give me your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will put, be put to shame. For you, O Lord, help and comfort me. Those who call on Yahweh's name shall be saved. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is from the Old Testament, the prophet Malachi. Look, I am sending my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. Then the Lord you are seeking will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you look for so eagerly is surely coming, says the Lord God of hosts. 
open our eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for nations a light to enlighten the gentiles and the glory of your people israel blessed be the lord the god of israel who has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant david through his holy temple he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Our eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for the nations, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Father, your beloved Son is our light and our salvation. He stands before you in the eternal temple as you, your chosen one. As we rejoice this morning in your presence, we thank you for your many gifts. For extending your mercy to all people, we give you thanks, Lord God. For becoming our source of deliverance and freedom, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the transformation of our hearts through your merciful love, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the consolation you bring to, to us each day, we give you thanks, Lord God. In the spirit of our own baptism, we are given boldness to ask for that which is needful. In particular, this morning, we pray for the needs of the church and the world. For the church to grow in her vocation as a source of hope for all who see you. Lord, hear us, for your mercy is great. For courage on our part to speak of your love, even to those who are afraid to trust. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For our daily surrender to the movement of the Spirit in our lives. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For a transformation in our lives that displaces lingering hatreds and divisions. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for kind rest to be inheritance of our departed brothers and sisters. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And Father, we pray for all those whom we know ourselves that are now dead to this world, but yet they live with you in your eternal kingdom. We pray for the rest of their souls. And we look forward to the day when we see our loved ones again. Heavenly Father, let us meditate this day on your presentation of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, when you went to the temple as a baby to be circumcised. May we remember all you do for us, Lord, and how you became one of us, but yet without having sin, so that you might live the life we live and be our Savior. 
Father, we pray for those that can't make it to church today because of icy roads. We pray for those that don't want to come, that their heart and mind might be changed. We pray for those that turn away from you, that have once known you, but have turned away. And we pray, O oh Lord, that as the Spirit works in their lives, they'll turn back to you once again. O oh, merciful God, as we reflect on this past year of 2023 and move forward into 2024, may we simply come into the year with hearts humble, surrendered lives to you, trusting you, O oh Lord, for everything, to be your vessel in this world around us in the coming year. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of light, your beloved Son, shared our human nature and built us into a living temple where you might dwell. May the same Spirit who guided Simeon and Anna guide our lives to behold your salvation, to proclaim your light, and to live more fully in our vocation as people of your everlasting covenant. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim, the seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church claimed you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did not abhor the virgin's womb. You became the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, and we believe you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace and souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for joining with me in prayer on this day, the Lord's Day. The day we celebrate the presentation of our Lord Christ into the temple. And I pray that your day is blessed. And I pray that you serve him this day. And look forward to serving him in this new coming year. We pray in Jesus' name.